Hey guys, this is Karen from jazzham.com and today we'll be reviewing the Rolex Submariner reference number 116618LN. We'll be talking about the pricing, the dial, bezel, case, crown, bracelet, clasp, and we'll talk about the movement towards the end of the video. Okay, so you can get this watch from an authorized Rolex retailer for $34,520. Or you can come to jazzhem.com and get it for as low as $25,700 as of August 2017. Moving right on to the dial now. The dial is very basic of the Submariner. We have the maxi dial, which are 30% larger hour markers indicated by these circular hour markers, the index 6, 9, and the triangular 12. These markers are fashioned in 18 karat yellow gold to prevent any tarnishing and additionally they do glow in the dark with a blue highly legible chromolite display with long lasting blue luminescence. The colors, the colors these dials come in is a blue dial and the black which I have here. Also the bezel uh, blue, uh, blue or black as well also corresponding to the dial color. Okay. Next off, we have the Mercedes hands, which is the hour hand, the circular hour hand here, with the minute hand as well. Uh, they, are fully they are fully filled with luminescence and also fashioned in that 18 karat yellow gold as well. At the 3 o'clock position, we have the date window with a cyclops lens on top for magnification and an easier viewing of, viewing of that date. Besides that, very basic Submariner dial. Uh, moving on to the bezel now. The bezel is a uh, unidirectional, rotatable, 60-minute graduated scratch-resistant serochrome, which is a ceramic uh, name for the ceramic that Rolex uses. And its numerals and graduation uh, graduations are coated in a gold. Okay, so that what that means is that these individual index index markers, along with the Arabic numerals 10, 20, 30, they are all uh, coated in gold. Uh, pre this stainless steel model of the Submariner, they're coated in platinum, but this one is just full of gold on gold. The ceramic, um, Rolex has opted to use ceramic for their bezels now, as the ceramic keeps that color throughout its, throughout its lifetime and gives a very nice shine to the watch as well. Additionally, one of the hugest properties of the ceramic is it's incredibly scratch resistant. So it's a very, very nice feature to have now. Okay, besides that, uh, as I mentioned, it is a unidirectional rotatable bezel. As you can see, unidirectional only being able to move to the left. And the use for the the use for the bezel is it tracks elapsed time. So this is a diver's watch. So with divers in mind, um, for divers they want to keep track of their oxygen levels. So they would just move the pier dot to the minute hand. Let's just say that their oxygen level started there. They know they probably have maybe 10, 20 minutes left of oxygen. You, then they can see that uh, minute hand track that elapsed time across across that bezel. But as it, as I stated, it is unidirectional, so it cannot go backwards. It can only go forwards, and that's just for protection, just in case they accidentally bump the bezel and you know it shifts it back a little bit and gives them a uh, false reading of their oxygen. Uh, you know how much oxygen they have left. Besides that, um, if you're not a diver, it's good for every everyday use as well, such as if you're running a mile, you can also track how fast it takes you to run a mile. You got a business meeting, you can see how long and how efficient those, those business meetings are by tracking the lapse time with that bezel. It's a very simple feature to have. Let's just reset that there. All right, so for the case size, you're looking at a 40 millimeter case from my index fingers to my thumb here. That's 40 millimeters in diameter. Um, the case, of course, is all, for, is all 18 karat yellow gold for the profile of the case. Not too high, it will fit in a suit cuffs, dress cuffs very nicely. And of course, we have a very nice high polish on the side of the side of the case that patterns very nicely with the bracelet. On the other side as well, same thing. We have that nice high polish 18 karat uh, yellow gold with crown protectors on the right side of the case to protect the crown, of course. The crown itself, also 18 karat yellow gold, and it's a screw down, trip lock, triple waterproofness system that unwinds counterclockwise, rather unscrews counterclockwise. And that pops it out to the first position in which you can wind the watch. And you go clockwise for that, 
you want to do it 20 to 30 times, no more, as you might too, put too much tension on the movement and you might damage it. Okay. A simple tug of that crown will let you uh, will allow you to adjust the date instantaneously, going clockwise, as shown. And a final pull out of that crown will let you set the hands bi-directionally. One thing to mention is that the second hand or the hack movement will stop. And that's, to, and that's for precise time settings, such as if you want to set your watch to the, down to the exact seconds on an atomic clock, you can. And of course, always make sure, press your crown nice and tight and screw it nice and tight against the case as you want to keep this watch water resistant. Specifically for the Submariner, you're looking at water resistance of 300 meters or 1,000 feet, as this is a diver's watch. Okay. Now for the bracelet, it is, it is a more of a hybrid of a dress watch and a, and a uh, sports watch. As you can see that the Oyster bracelet has a nice high polish right down the center and that's juxtaposed by the uh, sand finish or brush steel outer piece links and that goes throughout the whole bracelet as you can see same pattern on the clasp and on to the other side of the bracelet and that's all 18 karat yellow gold that's solid gold not gold not gold plated okay so for the clasp now we're looking at a safety folding oyster class as shown. This is a little safety, which is this little hinge here that locks on top of the folding oyster. And here are here's the clasp blade, nicely high polished with the Rolex name embossed onto that clasp blade. One neat feature to show you guys is that behind the clasp, we have what's called the glide lock extension link, which is, you see these little rivets on the back of the case that allows for two, or not the case, but the clasp, it allows for two millimeter increment adjustments uh, for the bracelet. And that's easily done by pulling the bracelet at a 45 degree angle. And you can go ahead and just pull that bracelet outwards for a maximum of 20 millimeter, uh, 20 millimeters of adjustment. So that's how it looks all the way out. Again, and that's pressing back in, and that's how it looks back in. So it's a very nice feature to have. Uh, mainly, it was kept in with divers and mines for wetsuits and such. They, you could be, you would be able to adjust for the adjust for the wetsuits uh, for the small little mil millimeters that would add to your wrist. Um, however, it can also be used for everyday everyday things now, such as if your wrist uh, swells up from heat, then you can adjust to for a little more comfort, vice versa if it's colder. Also, if you want to pass this watch down onto somebody else, let's say your son, uh, you can also adjust the bracelet, uh, adjust the bracelet for their wrist as well without having to take it to a jeweler and having them to remove a link and such. So it's a very nice feature to have. All right, so moving on to the movement now. So the movement is housed in this, uh, is housed in this Oyster case back. And it's Rolex's tried and tested movement. It's their perpetual mechanical self-winding caliber 3135 movement that has been, uh, that has been used for more than for over 10 years now, so you know it's an incredibly reliable movement. They've they've tested this movement over and over again, so you know this movement will last you. It has a precision of minus two plus two seconds a day. Uh, it has the functions of the center hour, minute, and seconds hand with the instantaneous changing of the date, as I've shown you. And then you have the stopping of the seconds hand for precise time setting. The oscillator is a paramagnetic blue parachrome hairspring and it winds via a bi-directional self-winding via a perpetual rotor. The power reserve of the this, of this Submariner is approximately 48 hours, meaning you can put this down on a Friday evening, pick it back up on a Monday evening, and it should still be keeping time just fine. All right, so let me actually go ahead and show you this watch on my wrist now. So once again, safety off, folding oyster open. Very simple, snap, snap. And there it is. Okay, it's a very beautiful, very beautiful watch. The high polish on the bracelet, very it pops very nicely because adding that additional shine all around, and that just that black ceramic, black ceramic uh, bezel, definitely adds a nice shine to it as well. And knowing that that black will last throughout its lifetime, being incredibly scratch resistant as well, very nice, very nice to know.
All right, so if you're interested in purchasing this model or any other model for the lowest possible price, check out our website at jazztime.com. We have the lowest prices guaranteed. We offer free shipping and a one-year warranty. And if you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe below. We got lots more to show you guys. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys soon. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount, so you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in jazztime, plus the brand, model and the details you're interested in and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.